there, third grade mathematicians. It's Mr. Tang here, welcoming you back for a new week of math, right here on BCPS TV. Our lesson for this week focuses on some measurement and data standards, more specifically, the measurement of area and perimeter. What do you know about how these are the same and how they're different? This is the second lesson for the week of June 1st through June 5th. Can you believe we're already in June? Our objective for today is that we're going to understand the relationship between perimeter and area by using models to know when to use one versus the other in the real world. So let's go ahead and break that down. What we're gonna to do today is try to understand the relationship between perimeter and area. This is gonna be built into definition and our understanding of those definitions. We're gonna do this by using models to help boost our understanding. And we'll be able to apply our learning to be able to see if we can use one versus the other in different situations. So how are perimeter and area the same? How are they different? Either jot down some notes or talk to someone around you about what you know about these words, area and perimeter. So both of our images look very similar. We have very similar shapes on both of them, but the focus is going to be slightly different. Perimeter and area are often talked about together because they use a lot of the same measurements. So it's easy to see how they can be confused from one another. But the perimeter is the measurement around the outside or edge of a shape. It's the distance. Area is the amount of space a shape covers. Both of these use length and width to find the measurements. We can use addition to find the perimeter by adding all the sides of the shape but we multiply the length by the width to find the area of a shape. Let's turn to our friends at Pearson to learn more about how perimeter and area are related to each other. In the first of two videos, we're gonna take a look and focus more on how they relate when we have the same perimeter, but have a different area. Can rectangles have different areas but the same perimeter? Let's find out. Beth, Marcia, and Nancy build rectangular pens for their rabbits. Each pen has a perimeter of 12 feet. Which rectangular pen has the greatest area? What information are you given? You are given the dimensions of three different rectangular pens. What are you asked to find? You are asked to find the rectangular pen with the greatest area. Drawings help you see how the rectangles are similar and different. Let's look at Beth's plan for a pen. Find the perimeter. P equals five plus one plus five plus one equals 12 feet. How are perimeter and area different? Perimeter is a measurement of distance around a figure. Area is a measurement of the space inside a figure. To find the area, multiply the number of rows by the number of square units in each row. A equals 1 times 5 equals 5 square feet. Beth's pen has an area of 5 square feet. Next, look at Nancy's plan for a pen. Find the perimeter. P equals 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 equals 12 feet. Find the area. 
a equals 2 times 4 equals 8 square feet. Nancy's pen has an area of 8 square feet. How does the area of this pen compare to the area of the first pen? The area of this pen is greater than the area of the first pen. Now look at Marsha's plan for a pen. Find the perimeter. P equals 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 12 feet. Find the area. A equals 3 times 3 equals 9 square feet. The greatest area. Why are the number of rows and the number of square units in each row the same? They are the same because this rectangle is a square. Which pen shape has the greatest area? The square pen shape has the greatest area. Now you know how to compare rectangles that have different areas but the same perimeter. Next, let's take a look and see what happens when our area stays the same, but our perimeters are different. Can rectangles have the same area, but different perimeters? Let's find out. In a video game, you have 16 castle tiles to make a rectangular castle and 16 water tiles for a moat. How can you completely surround the castle with water? You need to make a rectangular shaped castle that can be completely surrounded by water tiles. How is the castle tile different from the water tile? The castle tile is a square and the water tile is a rectangle. The castle tiles represent the area, and the water tiles represent the perimeter. Make rectangles that have an area of 16 square units. Find the perimeter of each rectangle. Let's try it. Find the area of this rectangle. A equals 1 times 16. The area equals 16 square units. Find the perimeter. P equals open parenthesis 2 times 16 close parenthesis plus open parenthesis 2 times 1 close parenthesis. The perimeter equals 34 units. Do the water tiles surround this rectangle? How do you know? No, the perimeter of the rectangle is 34 units, but there are only 16 water tiles. Let's try another. Find the area. A equals 2 times 8. The area is 16 square units. Find the perimeter. P equals open parenthesis 2 times 8 close parenthesis, plus open parenthesis, two times two, close parenthesis. The perimeter equals 20 units. Do the water tiles surround this rectangle? How do you know? No, the perimeter of the rectangle is 20 units, but there are only 16 water tiles. The perimeter is still too large for the water tiles to surround the castle. Now look at this arrangement. Find the area. A equals 4 times 4. The area equals 16 square units. Find the perimeter. P equals open parenthesis 2 times 4 close parenthesis plus open parenthesis 2 times 4 close parenthesis. The perimeter equals 16 units. Why do the water tiles surround this rectangle?
because the perimeter is 16 units and there are 16 water tiles. Only the 4x4 four four castle can be surrounded by 16 water tiles. Now you know how to show that rectangles can have the same areas but different perimeters. So that's a lot of information that Pearson just covered. So now let's go ahead and try it for ourselves. Your teacher should have assigned you two quick checks, 16-4 and 16-5. In 16-4, you'll be asked to solve problems in which the perimeter stays the same, but the areas are different. And likewise, with quick check 16-5, you'll be asked to solve problems where the area stays the same, but the perimeter is different. Which one do you think is harder? Is there a way that helps you understand this better? Hopefully you're taking your time using scrap paper and really thinking through your problems. But when you're feeling confident and ready to, move on to the show what you know section in Schoology and complete the area and perimeter assignment assigned to you by your teacher. A PowerPoint with several problems can be found within that show what you know section. You can open up the PowerPoint slide and use the draw feature to digitally write on the resource sheet and then save and upload it for your teacher to see. The draw feature can be found in the toolbar once you open up the PowerPoint. And as a reminder, if you have access, you should be completing six to eight Dreambox lessons a week. You must first log into BCPS1 using your own username and password, and then access Dreambox through the instructional and productivity tools icon. Well, that's it for us today, boys and girls. You did a wonderful job. And until next time, be sure to stay safe, wash those hands, and do the math.